Hello folks and welcome back to the 2022 Australian Disc Golf Championships. We're here in Queensland, Australia, and as always we'd like to thank our sponsors. Big shout out to Lone Star Disc, and as always Gatekeeper Media for this coverage. My name is Nick Hansen. alongside me is Patty Robinson. Patty, how are you doing today? Very well mate, stoked to be back and watching some disc golf down under. Yeah, I'm excited as well, we've got a great card here today. We have Drew Gibson, Chris Hill, Dylan Feldman, and Blake Houston. Um, we've got quite a full leaderboard as well here with plenty of room for people to come up from the chase card, and yourself included with that. Yeah, just uh, sitting in a cheeky sixth place there, so see how we go. Yeah, definitely within striking distance. Drew Gibson's bag here, sponsored by Infinite Discs. He's going to be putting the pen roads, I know, and he's known very well for those buzz shots here he had a great round one and i would assume he's going to continue that trend of getting birdies then we've got uh chris hill or chili known down under um he's a very big fan of um caster plus so yeah as you can see there with that list um putting with the ricos approaching with the bergs yeah you can crush yeah dylan next here a uh, latitude sponsored player seen him make many a putts with those daggers throwing the compass very well and i would also think we're going to see the grace out there today maybe on some of those longer holes yeah and then we've got blake carson which is uh he's only 16 all the way from perth wa um very mixed bag there no uh disc sponsor at the moment but um yeah you're going to see this young fella absolutely crush the disc has a huge arm all right straight up hole one par three very straightforward, gettable starting hole, 70 meters downhill. A little bit of trouble on the right there, but um, yeah. it's one you definitely want to get. This is Adam Lowe, one of our tournament directors. First on the tee from Santa Did an absolutely amazing job over the weekend. Infinite Discs, make some noise for your current leader, Drew Gibson. And as he said, we'll have Drew Gibson teeing off first here. Looks like he's going to be lining up the putter backhand shot. Little shout out to Adam Lowe there. Being one of their tournament directors for the weekend. Second on I feel the like tee. Drew left that a little bit short. Blast than what he Newcastle to. Disc Golf, Chris Hill. Chris Hill here. You said they call him Chili, is that correct? Chili, yes. Probably the most energetic dude you'll see on the disc golf course ever. Oh, getting a little tree love there. That is Stop a great the back side of the circle. Representing <laughs> latitude 64, part of the flying Love a bit of luck on the first hole. It's good signs. Champion, Dylan Feldman. <laughs> now this may latitude 64 teammate lining up his socky bomb slammer for that forehand line i'm sure that's not what he's looking for off that first tee there catching early maybe a little nervous here on the second day with being on the lead card again Blake has burst on the scenes, only 16 years old. He's actually won quite a few tournaments here in Australia. Thanks, have a great round. Okay, really young good. gun then. Yeah, really good up and coming. Just a really Pretty nice fella. Really nice dude. I feel like you have a lot of good people out in disc golf that you meet along the way. It's nice. Good community overall. Yeah, it's a very family kind of friendly community and we try and have a lot of fun. I noticed that when I was out there. <laughs> a lot of fun was had. Everybody's very joyful. A couple of missed putts here from our car to start, unfortunately, but 
Oh, and then mm. a splash out there. Not the ideal start for our lead card here, as most of them want to be getting this hole. It's not often you, you won't see a smile on uh, Chili or Chris Hill's face. He's, <laughs> as I said, very happy dude. Okay, hole two. 100 meter, you gotta navigate this tight little gap here. Part three, a little bit of danger behind the basket. Yeah, and it's kind of like a down and then an up. So if you really just throw straight across, you're gonna be good, but the angle of the hill sometimes can get in players' heads. Oh, a nice tree oh. kick towards back towards the basket there for him. <laughs> That'd be oh, nice. I'd love a few. Great a shot. Kick. Oh, Chili, you you can't throw that any better. That's great. No, he's in the bullseye there. He's gonna love that first birdie of the day. Oh, another one. Very smooth. Might be a little bit of a funny footing placement there, but amazing drive there, Blake. Oh, Dylan. my. Oh. oh, wow. I thought we might have one there. Jeez. There's that compass again. It's actually one of my old compasses. I'm a bit jealous, so I've <laughs> to him. <laughs> Just watching him, watching it fly out of his bag. <laughs> one thing I feel like I noticed from the Australian players were a lot of them throw the disc straight very well. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I um, I guess we've got uh, um, one of our main course designers, Andrew Ferguson, loves to. To design a straight hole, so maybe that's got a little bit to do with it because he's probably designed mm -hmm. about 80% of the holes in Australia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like this one, it's very tight, but if you can throw it dead straight, you can get inside the circle. Oh, um, Dylan. Dylan, unfortunately, maybe rushed his putt a little bit there, and he's going to be tapping in for par. Chili with tap in birdie. Very lovely. Okay, back to hole three, 72 meters. Um, we've got two lines off the tee, but the most common one is going to be this left hand gap, which I think you'll see a lot of people throwing the forehand or maybe a flex backhand with a mid. You just don't want to go off to the left there because it gets quite treacherous. Drew's going to be landing a little bit short there, probably about circle's edge. Um, and if that didn't give it away at all, Chris has played ultimate frisbee for a long time. I was going to say, a little bit of an <laughs> ultimate sidearm it looked like there, but still got the job done. Blake is going to find himself a little bit short as well, but we'll have a look for two. Dylan going with the only turnover here. He's going to find himself in the circle as well there with a little tree kick. Oh, just a bit low. Drew here for his birdie. Oh. Something was tickling the back of his calf, which is always nervous in... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring some nerves in Australia. He's also in the background going with the quick change there. Maybe oh, little, take it off, Drew. <laughs> a little constricted by his long sleeve shirt he had underneath. Oh. Hey, put the camera back on that. That's uh... <laughs> great. Right, from back Chile. to the disc golf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really getting those back to back birdies there, getting in within one stroke of Drew. 
spike happening. We'll be right back after a short break. When the shots fire, my soul at ease, yeah. If I go down, I might go to sea, yeah. Them scheme, them go to sleep, yeah. They don't wanna go war with me, yeah. Rub, Ricky, rub, rub, Ricky, rub. Rub, Ricky, rub, rub, Ricky, rub. Rub, Ricky, rub, rub, Ricky, rub. Back on hole four. Par three, 77 meter downhill. Fun little line off this. Yeah. Throw on the backhand, you've got to kind of flex one a little bit, but have it finish to the left. A little bit of trouble, lots of elevation. But Chris looks like he's handled that pretty well. Just going to float all the way down the hill, yeah. What, yeah. what kind of shot are you throwing here? I was taking the forehand line, um, and in this round, I hit first available and kicked yeah. off to the right into the crab. So, yeah, maybe not the best to, uh, <laughs> to follow on this hole. It's also the line I was choosing, but yeah. as you can see, most of our players here are going right down the middle, and Drew getting one right up inside the circle. Looked very smooth. Yeah, that right side with like a slow flipping hyzer, I think is a really good line for this one because it kind of just funnels down to the basket at the end. Blake unfortunately just going a bit too far right, but geez. Wow. That one stayed so straight for so long. Yeah. Oh, chili just off the cage. Dylan, I'm sure he'd like to get this one. Oh, held. Lovely. Yeah, stayed in there. Gotta love that. Got Drew here from about 15 or so. Making it look pretty awesome. easy. Yeah. So hole four played at 2.81. 11 birdies on this round from the MPO. Yeah, these holes are relatively short to start, but they are tricky, as you can see. Only 11 birdies from our open field here. Next up, hole five, on the par three, 98 meters. Nice straight shot. There's that one tree in the middle of the fairway that you don't want to hit, that a lot of people ended up hitting. And uh, you don't want to go too long as well, because it gets into a bit of trouble. I think Dylan this is that compass again. Oh. I was going to say, Dylan putting it on a good line to give it a chance and just a little bit right there. He's going to find himself inside the circle. Drew up next. Oh, there's a tree. Another great shot out of him. Lovely from Chile. I'm not sure yeah. what cast of plastic that is, but he's got some great mid ranges. Just throws yeah, it like so found, well. Found the bullseye on that one. Blake just a little low off the tee there. Unfortunately, he's going to have an upshot for his. Yeah, I think some of the some of the tee pads were a little bit like you had to step up onto some of the tee pads, and I, I remember this hole being one of the ones that. I really had to focus on mentally to, to not have it get and affect my throw. And I think that just got into Blake's head then. It's a great putt there. Get his turkey for the round. Get back to two under. And yeah, speaking of those tee pads, they were a little short. Um, but, hmm. you know, that step up does, you know, like you said, get into people's head. And it's just one more element there that you have to deal with. Yeah, Blake's someone I've played with a little bit, and he, he does like a good run-up. Um, oh, nice putt there, Drew. Um, but yeah, I did hear a couple of people mention it was just a little bit awkward for them. But... 
And, you know, some of those things kind of happen when you've got a temporary course that you're trying to have just for like one event like this. And, you know, yeah. I think I think next time around, they might make them a little bigger after the feedback they got. Yeah. Jeez, another little tap in from Chili. Here's a big smile. Whole He's six. loving life right now. Oh, he's always loving life. Uh, <laughs> par three, 128 meters, 420 feet. Um, you'll see a lot of sidearms on this or maybe a mid-range, a little bit of flex. You just don't want to go into that pond because it's very deep and you'll never see your disc again. Yes. Dylan getting a roll there, unfortunately. And... Oh, sit down. Wow. That's a, that is a big roll. Jeez. It does slope down to that side, but you don't really see him roll that far, I would say. Drew going with that turnover mid-range. Looks like it's just going to fade out on him and drift left. Yeah, that's the risk with the uh, back end as well. It does slope off to the left. Sorry, I, I just love that ultimate forehand from Chili. It's fantastic. And it works. So works yeah. so well. Uh, He's finding himself inside the circle for another birdie. He's gonna be happy with that one. It's almost like a, a cartoon character kind of um, <laughs> motion. It is fantastic. it is a little bit like that, I would agree. <laughs> Hey, if it works, I'm not going to mock it. It's fantastic. Nope. You made it the lead card for a reason, so. Yeah. Blake and Dylan with some long birdie looks. Oh, and he's uh, looks like he might have trickled out of bounds there. Oh, chilly. That's unfortunate. But at least he's going to get his disc back there. Yeah, as you as can you see said, that, that pond isn't the best. Yeah, and it's it's very close. It's a lot closer than what you think when you're standing on the tee. Yeah, I would say it's within the circle one. Would you agree? Oh, easily within about five meters, I reckon. Four or five meters. Yeah, very close. Rating is one of the most valuable things you get with a membership. It takes your performance in sanctioned events, compares it to the rest of the field, and gives you an empirical number to show how well you played. Rain, shine, wind is all taken into account, leaving only one thing, your play. This gives you accurate numbers to track how well you've been doing and your overall improvement in the game. Get your number today. Visit pdj.com slash join. Hole seven, par three, 113 meters. Bit of a funny hole this, you gotta come straight and then it goes dog leg to the left, basically 90 degrees. There's a small little window over the rough on the left hand side that you might see a few people throw through and get that elusive birdie. But if you miss it, it's a lot of trouble in there. Yeah, that left side is trouble if you get caught up early. You'd rather just be straight looking at your three chance. But this shot looks great out of Chris. Oh, look at that thing. Going to be on top of the basket there, putting down at it, but giving a great chance for birdie. Like taking the low line. 
think he'll just he'll be outside circle too. Probably just looking to lay up. Dylan fighting through quite a ways. Wow. <laughs> One thing I do want to mention to everybody again is that the front nine here will be on Gatekeeper's page, and you'll be able to find the back nine of all three rounds on the PGA YouTube page. So make sure to hop over there for the back nine coverage of all three rounds. Now there, there weren't too many holes in this round that actually played over par, but this was one of them. Coming in at 3.29. I think that uh, that rough caught quite a few people. Oh, Dylan. Oh, great putt from Dylan. Outside the circle there and just got that nice stab putt straight in the heart of the chains. Yeah, he'll be happy with that. I think that's the Especially first thing he told me after the round, actually. He's like, I birdied seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Drew, unfortunately, going to bogey. That is uncharacteristic there. He did have a quite a tough fly. Great butt from Blake oh, there. Good save. I think it's always good to see players bounce back after a bogey like Dylan just did. Um, he had the unfortunate bogey there where it rolled out of bounds and... Gave him a chance on this next hole to get a birdie and yeah. got it right back. Well, there, there were only two birdies in this round on the day. Um, one we've just seen. The other was Jackson Sullivan from New Zealand. So, well nice done, boys. Work, Jackson. Okay, hole eight, par four, 600 meters, uh, 600 feet, sorry. Uh, 184 meters uh, peninsula hole. We've got a bit of OB surrounding that peninsula. But this was a fun first drive. Who doesn't love throwing downhill? Yeah, it's a good first par four for the round where it's really a two-shot hole. If the wind's correct, um, certain players, I feel like, could go for it, but it's quite the risk. Dylan catching that... or Sorry, that was Chris uh, catching Chile. that yeah, right Chris. side. But it looks like he stayed in bounds. Fortunately, that's that little roped off area that you can see right in front of you is out of bounds there. And Drew throwing an absolute laser, beating that corner. And that's about one of the best spots you can get, I would say, for yeah. playing it for a two shot. Oh, Chris. Just in bounds. Yeah, lovely. I'm sure he wasn't didn't want much more than that. Just make the corner. I feel like Blake's gonna go for this too. Oh. Yeah, a little inside there and. Yeah. Looks like he's in bounds, but I feel like the disc had the distance if it would have been far enough left. Dylan with a nice up there with that socky bomb slammer. Here's Chris for now, his three. Yeah. There's a bit of wind on this hole too. Look no! Like what? <laughs> oh my goodness, and look at him just run it down. Oh, he loves it. Oh, Absolutely. that is one way to get a birdie, folks. Look at that grin. Oh, <laughs> I'd be grinning like that, too. No, I have yeah. spoken to uh, Chris about this shot. Oh, and, uh, so clean. He said he, he was, it, it wasn't, uh, we, we wanted to know if that was going OB if it didn't hit, but looking at that. No, it wasn't going to go OB. He nailed that. That was awesome. That was awesome. I like the hat throw right after it goes in, too. <laughs> oh, that's, that's some energy right there. Drew here. It's me getting... Looks like what's up and down for his birdie inside the circle. Oh. A little dink that's off the... Bottom there. Hit. Beautiful. 
And there's Drew for his birdie. Yeah. Not as exciting as Chris's, but math mathematically the same. <laughs> from Dill as well. Dylan has had quite the uh, front nine here. A lot of birdies and a couple bogeys there. Now, our last hole for the front nine. Par three, 86 meters, 282 feet. It's a great little hole. Well, but first, you got a chase card check-in, yeah. Luke yeah. here. Oh, very smooth. <laughs> that is money. Yeah, back on hole two. This is hole three. Right at the forehand. I'm not really sure. I think, like, he's an innovative okay. sponsored player, Luke, so I'm sure there's a lot of firebirds and destroyers, but that looks very firebirdy. Oh. Who do we have here? It's me. In the orange and blue, looking like a packet of M&Ms. Um, I'm throwing a wall. Looking like a here. true professional, yeah. putting it <laughs> under the basket like that. <laughs> a West Side War Horse. Nice putt from Luke. Both of you getting a couple easy birdies here on hole two. Or hole three, sorry. Putt with my what do you putt there. with? Daggers. Yeah, I've got like a nice... Glow plastic dagger from a while. Oh, back. okay. There's that sidearm route you were talking about. Yeah, very smooth from Luke. Lovely. Here's hole five's tee shot from you. Yep. Yeah, they didn't show my forehand for very fair reasons because I threw it straight into first available. Oh, but... look at that though. Yep. Do you think that was uh, running an ace, or was that just a little too short? A little bit too short. Um, Good run, nonetheless. Thank you. And this is... Got a little bit lucky there. Uh, but that's a, um, a gold line fuse. I think Luke's throwing a mid-range here as well. Had a little bit of yeah, tailwind, watch. so just rocked it over. Watching all you guys, I'm thinking this is more of a backhand shot now. Yeah, I'm outside circle here, uphill. And yeah, oh, happy with that one. There. What is it? That gets you a three down through a nine. Three it's down through feel nine. Feel pretty good. Yeah. Couldn't let Luke just tap in like that. I had to try and do something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try and big putt him potentially, you yeah. know. You never know, right? Yeah, but Luke, four down through nine there as well. Very hot start. Dylan here is going left. That could be in a bit of danger there. Yeah. There is some OB, an OB pond. Oh, Chili looks like he's adjusted well. What a great shot there. Beautiful drive. Just make it look too easy. Speaking of too easy. Oh. Oof. Thanks for coming. Jeez. Yeah. Wow. He's he's putting on the show here this weekend so far. And look, we, we knew that uh, he was the favorite going in. Um, but yeah, it was great to watch how clean Drew can move the disc and yeah. So, so it appears he's out of bounds. We have Blake here now. Nice little gallery in the background there. Great part. Nice tap in from Chris. Chaffin in as well there. And so we see Dylan throwing a second upshot here. What happened is, um, what I remember is he was called out of bounds by somebody. However, his disc was actually in bounds. 
so he went to play from the correct lie after one practice stroke. I believe. Yeah. Um, Unfortunate event, but... Yeah, I but think he got stroked as incorrect. Yeah, he's taken a, a five on that. So. Unfortunate, um, but I bet he never has that problem again. Yes. It's one of those things that just can happen and something to learn from and move on. Here's a look at our card, though, through nine. Um, Drew at five under. Chris at... Or sorry, Drew at four under. Chris at five under. And here's a look at our leaderboard. Got yourself there up on the leaderboard still. Good job. And, uh, uh, Chris Hill just... And Luke are only one behind Drew after that first line. Yeah, cool. quite, a, quite a good... Um, Good stacked field here going into the back nine of round two. Um, Patty, thanks for being here. We really appreciate it. No worries. Thanks for having me. Lots of fun. Yeah, it's been great. And I look forward to the back nine here. Once again, you can catch the back nine on the PDGA's uh, YouTube page. But as always, like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the back nine, folks.